this is a place where it's, it has a real sense of community, that you don't just come here and get educated so, yes, you'll have, hopefully have a nice job and uh, you know, have, have a nice living afterwards, but it's much more than that. It's a place where you learn how to be an engaged citizen in a 21st century democracy. And that's one of the big themes that you're going to hear me talk about, the, what I call the engaged university, being engaged with ideas, but also engaged with the world. That people come out of here, and even while they are here, and they're working with their communities at the regional level, the local level, the national level, and the international level to try to address and solve some of the big challenges uh, that we face as a society. So that, that I think, is, is a real hallmark of this place, that idea of civic engagement, uh, social responsibility, that this is a university that wants to make a difference. And, and that, that really is what James Madison is known for. As I talk to people around the country, I'm already hearing that time and time again. The other thing I, I hear, uh, which is, I hope, your experience, is from alums who were students here, that they really had a great experience at JMU, that they felt that the faculty really cared about them, uh, that they learned a lot from each other and from the faculty, that they really felt that they got individual personal attention. And I can tell you, a lot of universities this size, that's hard to come by. It's not something to be taken lightly. But the opportunities to engage in undergraduate research, to work directly with, with faculty, uh, those are things that at a lot of universities are, are very difficult at, at larger places. But James Madison has been very intentional about trying to foster that kind of faculty-student interaction and to have a really strong student life experience, not just in the classroom, but outside the classroom. So I, I hope that's been your experience, too. And I'll certainly want to be listening and hearing from a lot of students about what we're doing well, where we can continue to improve. Uh, but that is what I've been hearing from alumni. The alumni satisfaction rates, again, compared to a lot of other universities, are just phenomenal. So that's something that we, I think, can all be very proud of. But again, we don't want to take anything for granted. We want to constantly work to improve. Uh, and, and my job is really to try to, to help the community go to that, that next level. Part of the idea we're listening to is that it help feeds into strategic planning, which will also be a very inclusive process. It's not something the president just sits in you know, his or her office and does. It's something that is, involves the whole university community. You say, OK, we want to get all this feedback about what, what issues are on people's minds, what are their concerns, what do they think is working well, because you don't want to take those things for granted, and then talk about where do we go from here, what are our priorities going to be. Uh, so there, there aren't a lot of other specifics yet, I would say to that, but I want to be very intentional about listening and would value what you and others you know, have to share on that, that front. Uh, 